In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. The Gospel reading of today is taken from the reading uh, from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 10. And uh, it was ended with a, a verse that uh, the explained what happened during such reading. And the last verse that was read for us today is that many who are first will be last and last and last first. Um, which is a, a message from our Lord Jesus Christ for all of us today, a message of warning for some people and also it's a message of hope for others. As, as we've all heard the gospel of today, it, it's about the young rich man who came to the Lord saying, Lord, I, I want to inherit the kingdom of heaven. What shall I do? And the Lord answered, said, well, just go and, and study the commandments of God and do them. Do you know them? And the, 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 the young man said, well, I have kept them since my youth. Since I was young, I know the commandments of God and I do them as well. So the Lord looked at him and the Lord loved them, as it's mentioned here in, in uh, the Gospel of St. Mark. Uh, he, he, he had the, the interest in the kingdom of heaven. He had the interest uh, to follow the commandments of God. He was interested uh, to follow Christ. So the Lord loved them. He found them a very good candidate to the kingdom of heaven. Uh, then the Lord said to him, well, if this, if this is the case, just go and sell whichever you have and take up your cross and follow me. And although this man was loved by the Lord, although he was a great person, great candidate to enter into the kingdom of heaven, he left sorrowful because he had, he had a great positions. He had a lot of things. He could not, he could not let go of his possessions. And then the, the disciples came to the Lord and told them, well, what happened? How come you just uh, 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 asked this person to go? And the Lord told them, well, those who, are, uh, rely, who rely on the riches, it'll be too hard for them to enter into the kingdom, uh, kingdom of heaven. And when Peter asked, and they said, well, Lord, we left many things to follow you. And the Lord said to him, well, watch out, because many first are going to be last, and many last are going to be first. And one of those who were listening to such verse uh, was Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot was first amongst nations. He was uh, chosen uh, out of uh, the whole world as one of 12 people the Lord has chosen to spread the, the good news to the whole world of salvation, the good news of salvation to the whole world. Judas Iscariot was first. However, because of his love to money, because of his love to, to this world, he was not faithful to his master and he became last. Although he was appointed to be first, all of us are appointed to be first, by the way. But some of us choose to become last th through their own uh, free will. They decide just to let go of their first place in heaven because of their wrong choices, because of leaning more to, loving, to love uh, this world and what is in it, uh, to love their, their positions, to, to live uh, uh, a life that is more attached to earth than, than to heaven. Uh, if this is your case, the, that's the warning for you today. If you rely too much on, on uh, your possessions, your money, if you concern too much about uh, your income of every month, uh, if, if your whole day is spent in, in uh, just thinking of new businesses to do and thinking of uh, uh, like more money to, to receive and so, uh, without, without putting God in the center of the day and in the beginning of the day, uh, you're, you're at a big risk of, of being last after, after the Lord has put you uh, to, become, to become first. My name and your name is written in the book of life. Do not go and erase it. It was written for a purpose that we all go and enjoy such eternal life. We were supposed to be there first, but 
with, with my wrong choices and your wrong choices when we just go and love the world and love the money of the world and the position of this world and just leave, uh, let alone the, the connection to our Lord Jesus Christ and his place in our heart and in our life what happens is the Lord moves us and makes us last look at, uh, uh, at the, the rich man in the parable that our Lord Jesus Christ uh, told uh, which is called the, the rich man and, the, and Lazarus the poor it was uh, uh, a story of a man who's living a life of luxury while having a poor beggar uh, right, right, in, in, uh, right at, at, at the door of his house he cared not about Lazarus the poor or his needs he, he just lived his life enjoying his money uh, this, uh, this uh, rich man in fact was supposed to be first and in fact he was first here on earth while Lazarus was last what happened there in heaven the, the rich man who did not care about the needs of others uh, he became last and the, when he asked his father Abraham just to have mercy upon him uh, he told them well you enjoyed your life on earth you didn't care about others in fact he, he did not care about the needs of those who are in need which was La Lazarus in this parable if, if, you, if you are to keep, to keep your position as, as first in the kingdom of heaven you may need to attend for the needs of others uh, to start with the needy and the poor M make sure that every every dollar that you receive is supposed to, to have like a, a, the, the poor person ha supposed to have a share of this dollar because it's not your dollar it's God's dollar who is giving it to you as a, as a steward for this do dollar just to, to give someone else to, a food to eat uh, make sure not to, not not to just uh, be such like a rich man caring about your uh, your pleasures your luxury life your house your car and others are dying of hunger around you and you just keep a blind eye without even uh, trying to notice or to help or to share uh, La Lazarus in this in this parable became first and the rich man who was first became became last also in the days of our Lord Jesus Christ the Pharisees used to be first in religion they, they used to be uh, very honored and respected uh, and they used to come to the first rows uh, in synagogues and people used to praise them because of, uh, of, of their righteousness and the Lord rebuked them and told them you're, you're, you're all hypocrites because uh, you just live a life of self-righteousness a life of fake uh, fake uh, religion and arrogance it's uh, it's uh, it's a life that that wouldn't glorify god as much as it, it glorifies your own ego and these people were first here on earth but the lord put them last because simply they they looked for their own glory not the glory of god many people who are considered first in the church are gonna are gonna find themselves last in the kingdom of heaven uh, especially those who have uh, like titles those who are titled as deacons servants counselors i i dare to say priests all, all those who have titles and and the church should be warned very very well because those who are considered first here on earth might be considered last in heaven if they don't watch out uh, uh, of hypocr hypocrisy uh, and, and self-righteousness and if they receive uh, praise and glory from others assuming that it's uh, that that they deserve it watch out if, if you have a lot of uh, uh, biblical knowledge spiritual knowledge knowledge about the rituals of the church and you assume that you are a great person that is worthy of praise because this is uh, that's very dangerous it's, it's gonna be gonna put you last in heaven you'll be surprised to know that people who don't know 
zero, like one percent of your knowledge about the Bible and about the, the hymns and the rituals of the church are, are going to become first there in heaven because of the purity of their heart and because they didn't, they didn't uh, steal the, the, the glory and the praise of God to themselves. We need, uh, we need to be uh, warned, those, uh, those who, uh, who try to fulfill uh, all their spiritual schedule, they, they pray that much time every day and they, they just have to finish the whole Agbeya book every day. That's great, by the way, but watch out, lest, lest you become a self-righteous person and they assume that you are first, because if, the, if this is going to be your case, you'll find yourself lost in heaven. Many people uh, consider themselves as first will be surprised there in heaven, as the Lord said here in the gospel reading of today. On the other hand, there are many people who are going to be first in heaven, uh, although they assume and the other people look at them as last here on earth. Uh, look at Saint Mary. Uh, the Lord looked at his, uh, her, her uh, lowliness. She was she was a humble person she she didn't see herself worthy of anything and the lord looked at her her humility and her contrite heart and the lord said i'm gonna come and uh, and be in current of saint mary because of her humbleness because of her of her her lowliness she was considered last here on earth yet the lord made them to be to, made her to be the first uh, of all women of all ages and the first in heaven because of, uh, of her, her humility uh, humble yourself before the Lord because he gives grace to the humble and he resists he resist those, those uh, uh, who are proud humble yourself before the Lord uh, knowing that you're just a hand, handful of dust you're, you're, you don't value too much in fact all the value that you have is the value of God that is in you. He created this in you, it's not yours. So praise him for the value he's given you. Praise him that, that you're healthy, that you're successful, that you are talent, talented. Praise him, do not praise yourself. Stay, stand before him knowing how, how, how uh, small and, and little you are before him because uh, whichever he's given you is, with, is, is just a gift and it is his, it's not yours. And humble yourself also before others. As, as the saints said, consider other, other people, uh, all other people better than you. Uh, do not focus on the weaknesses of your wife and your husband. Do not focus on the weakness of, of people around you. Th think of uh, their good things. Because they have good things, maybe, and uh, in fact, to tell you the truth, maybe they are better than you in the eyes of God, and they are going to become first. And unless you come, you come to the the, the understand to the understanding of being a humble person to become first in heaven, you might find yourself lost there in heaven. Humble people, those who who are who are lost here on earth, are going to become first in heaven. Uh, the the right hand thief was was a sinner and he was a, like a big sinner to the extent that he was sentenced the uh, of a, of a death sentence uh, to be to be uh, crucified on the cross to die because of his repentance the lord told him you're going to be in paradise today with me he was first in paradise because of his repentance repented people, those who know that they are sinners and who go and repent on regular basis and examine themselves on regular basis, those who, who just uh, see the, the commandment of God before them to examine themselves uh, through the commandment of God and come and repent uh, are, are, are going to be first there in heaven. Although they might look at themselves as sinners, they might, um, other people might look at them as sinners, they might look at them as lost here on earth, yet there in heaven, they are gonna be, they are gonna be first. Um, needless to mention uh, St. Moses the Black and St. Augustine and many other sinners who became first in heaven. I heard the story of, of a saint, his name is St. Peter, the, the thief and the hermit. 
he was a thief and he went to a convent of nuns to 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 steal things of, of them to rob the, the convent and once he entered there he found uh, uh, a cell of a nun there was an open door so he entered there and before he was able to get anything of the cell the nun came and opened the door so he hid himself underneath her bed and he said well she's gonna take some time and then once she finished I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna come out and take whichever I want to take and leave but the nun did not finish in fact she kept on praying praising the name of the Lord singing hymns singing praises all night long and she was crying to the Lord for her sins as well uh, listening to this from underneath the bed Peter started to realize where his life is going to uh, is going to be there in heaven and he repented uh, he decided to come out of his hiding place and to talk to, to the nun he talked to her and she guided him to go to to a, a spiritual guide and the father of confession where he himself became a monk and he went and uh, and uh, uh, lived in a monastery for a while uh, because of his ascetism he became a hermit as well not only a monk and he lived a long life like around 140 years uh, in the life of being a hermit uh, 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 he became first uh, instead of uh, after being last uh, when he repented he became first and he got the title of the thief and the hermit in the same time uh, look at uh, Zacchaeus uh, uh, in the city of Jericho was considered lost by, by everyone else in the city because of being a, a chief tax collector when he repented the Lord put him as first and the Lord said that salvation came to his house he became the bishop of Jericho at a point of time and he became first in the kingdom in the kingdom of heaven you want to become first uh, keep humility in your heart all the time you want to become first at the, attach yourself to a life of repentance uh, all the time and you want to become first do not uh, do not uh, ignore those who suffer around you um, uh, those who, who receive sufferings here on earth are are also considered first by the way uh, those uh, those who have uh, uh, marital problems and they are they are taking it with contentment and thanksgiving those who have financial problems those who are born with, with disabilities and uh, who are receiving this from God with contentment and thanksgiving these people are going to be considered first in heaven uh, if uh, if if you are if you are to to submit to the will of God in your life uh, accepting any kind of suffering that he allows in your life you're you are be, you're considered last here on earth yet you're going to be considered first there there in heaven the Lord has given us uh, a message of warning today and a message of hope warning to those who, who think too high of themselves uh, those who are uh, uh, self-righteous and hypocrites those who who uh, rely on their money and love their riches uh, uh, those who who do not uh, want to to care about the needs uh, of others uh, around them uh, need to be warned because although they look first here they're going to become lost there in heaven and others who are humble those who suffer here on earth those uh, who live a life of, uh, of humility and repentance are going to be considered first there in heaven may god be glorified in his church forever and ever amen